This event, this weekend, we're, we're what we call our home, our home track, so we're pretty close. The, the community is just fantastic, and everyone's super, super friendly. It's not a big town. It's a beautiful day here in uh, Northern California, so it should be an awesome day to get out on the track and get a little track time and, uh, and enjoy. The track is actually wonderful. The temperature is just right. I mean, we were at a restaurant in town, uh, the Swiss Hotel. I'm part Swiss, so it's kind of near and dear to me, and just had a great time talking to the locals. This is uh, one of the both most technically challenging and one of my favorite tracks to drive. Very technical, blind corners. It's one of those places where if you don't know where you're going, uh, you can get yourself in trouble. And every track has its own challenges. This track, uh, it's got some fast corners, turn 10 especially, uh, one of those corners where you really got to uh, have the guts, the balls to do it. Um, there's always something, you know, even after hundreds or thousands of laps, you know, people are finding new ways to drive it just a little bit faster. Um, everything is just kind of on the margin. If you can start to overcome those challenges and master those corners and therefore the track and piece all those corners together to get one full lap together, it's a very satisfying feeling. So I've, you know, many laps, many hours here, so we know where everything's going. I've driven it a bunch in the simulators. The track is great. The issue is with me. I've never been here before and I was lost. There was a lot of cars out this morning, so I was pretty lost. Uh, so I'd say it was uh, on a, a scale of 1 to 10, about a 1.5 for me this morning. Once we get down to the to the event, the actual event of things. So Friday's about the loadout. Trailers, cars, who's driving what to the track. We've got a lot of cars that we need to bring here. How many trips do we need to make? Set, setting up, we've got the flooring, we've got the canopies, we've got all the equipment. And that's just the cars and the equipment. That's not people and managing people. The team and everything that happens is, is kind of in my purview, to be honest with you. So I'm a driver, I can pace car driver, uh, set up podium, barbecue for lunch, whatever's needed. Well, the GoGo Racing, the GoGo Gear Racing team is a, a big group of us. I think there's about 10 of us here today. Uh, and then inside the GoGo Racing team, there's little, some small factions. So we have the Speed Traveler team, which is Chris and I. And, uh, and so we've got the Honda S2000, we've got the BMW. So we support each other uh, and uh, we towed the cars up here last night. Uh, and then we just sort of fit into the big team, which is GoGo -Go Gear Racing. Uh, and they bring all the supplies and all that. So it works out well. You know, Charlie and I have our little uh, cosmic you know, connection here with our Speed Traveler team, uh, but we're part of this intergalactic juggernaut that is the GoGo -Go Gear Racing team. I mean, it's a big family. It's run by a family, and everyone in that family is incredible. I mean, Ali, Becky, Nikki, uh, uh, Reza, they're all great people, and they've been doing it forever, and it shows. For me, it actually is my family, mostly, so there is that. But the camaraderie between drivers and crew and everything, it, we, everybody, we're all, you know, one big group. So, you know, extended family for sure. We try to take care of everyone. So. This is a hobby for a lot of people, something that they're hugely passionate about. But um, it, it's fun and it's safe and, and it's a great place. Team's doing great. This team's grown a ton. Uh, I hadn't raced for a few years and then came back two years ago and did a few races with GoGo -Go Gear Racing. And they only had four cars now, running nine cars this weekend. So, you know, as you'll see, elsewhere in this video, I'm sure there, there's a lot going on and a lot of cars that are being run. Well, definitely out there, there's tons of yellow cars. So when you see a yellow car, you know they're, they're friendly, right? Um, and you know, sometimes we'll see there, there's other teams that have their own team colors. It's kind of turned into a whole thing where we have the yellow cars, another team might have red or blue or green, whatever it is. You know, it's, it's family. It is family. All these folks, you race against them, you get to know people. There's really interesting people out there. And it is family, and you get to live a very special type of lifestyle. The team is wonderful. Without a team like this, without a supportive group of uh, racers and drivers and crew, um, you know, I, I can't say that I would be in the sport. Provide the support that is really required. This is, this, you can get a car, get a fun little car, and go and be that one-man team, the one-woman team out on track. Um, but to try to compete at a higher level, you really need that whole team. And everybody that has joined the, the, the team along the way over the years 
is because they enjoy the camaraderie and the passion within the team and the family aspect of it. You know, they all hang out together, they all work on the cars together. When they're, the drivers are on the team in different cars, different classes, they're sharing information and trading um, data to help one another because they all want it to benefit the overall team and it's so it's all about teamwork and that passion again. Honestly why I like this um, I guess group so much is is the mix of it's more for fun right I feel a lot of the drivers do it out of passion more than just pure competition so there's a love for the sport a love for the cars you know people aren't breaking things all the time you know they want to maintain their cars uh, because it's their own personal vehicles right and the competition is more fun between friends it feels um, right, so it's very nice to be around. It's a very good atmosphere, uh, which I enjoy the most. We're all just have fun racing each other and coming out here on any given Sunday, Saturday, whatever it may be, and having fun, really. So we've got Hondas, we've got BMWs, and we've got Hyundais. And so we've got different levels of drivers. Uh, United States Touring Car Championship has four different classes within it, and all of our, our cars vary through those classes. So sportsman, uh, touring car, super touring car, and GT, which is kind of the unlimited class. And so we've got cars. Our team has cars in all of those. I'm driving a new car. Uh, to me, I've never driven it before, and actually it's a brand new car to GoGo -Go Gear. They just bought it from another team. Uh, about a week ago. So it's a Hyundai Genesis similar to their cars, but a little different. So it's, uh, it drives very similar, but it's a little more tail happy. I am driving a BMW E90 3 Series. I am driving a 34 Honda Civic Type R that was built by GoGo -Go Gear. Car's doing well, so this is the second time really for the car out since we made lots of big changes, so no problem, just little little small things, we'll put some faster tires on for tomorrow. Gray car, you know, slightly longer wheelbase, very compliant, um, little tail happy, uh, very fun car to drive, very stable, uh, good amount of power and torque. I'm just trying out, the car is new for ourselves for 2022, and so this is our fourth event, and so we're just making sure that everything is up to par and the shifting is going well, the brakes on the money. And of course, the crucial part is, ter is temperature with the engine. yellow flags there's a bunch of dirt out in the track you know in the mornings it gets pretty cold here and so uh, the track was a little slick and I think um, you know all the cars are different right they're touring car classes and so uh, some cars are light and lower powered some cars are heavy with very high power and no one has grip you know it's been super crowded today it's been a challenge I and mean, first of all to get the speed traveler go go gear BMW out on track was a real challenge we have some brake issues that we had to work around I think think we've got those solved, but when we finally got out on track, there were so many cars, it was just chaos. So it makes it hard to learn the lines and just pick up and get back to use the pace because you got a lot of interruptions because you're passing cars, getting past. And while I haven't raced here in a while and haven't raced here a lot, a few of the other drivers are telling me that they actually took down some of the markers that people usually use as uh, reference points. So for the guys who really know the track well, that's a little disconcerting. Like uh, you would experience uh, on the road with uh, people maybe trying to change lanes into where you already are and you're driving down the freeway in your own space, they need their space on the racetrack as well. So if somebody's next to them or trying to pass them or they're passing the other guy, there's this interaction that has to play out and they have to work together to occupy the same space that they both of them want. Sadly, it went from you know, being the fastest at the last race to now just hoping I don't come in last in this race. So it's really a huge change and I've got to adjust mentally because it's rough to go out there and just get smoked by everybody left and right. But it, this is a very difficult track. So, you know, I think the expectation is for tomorrow's race, if I don't come in last, I'll be 
very happy. They're racers. These guys, they're very competitive. It's a really, really friendly competition within the um, United States Touring Car as a whole, and particularly within our GoGoGear.com racing team. So they, our drivers come to us in many different ways. They've been friends of ours forever, and they come in. Um, and if they weren't friends, they become friends. We've got um, owner-operator kind of thing. So we've got, we've got drivers that we support that bring their cars, and we support them here at the track. And then we also have our own fleet of cars where drivers come in and, and rent for the day, kind of an arrive and drive uh, scenario. This track is so much fun. Charlie and I have a history of racing against one another. Uh, he was able to beat me at Las Vegas, um, uh, you know, by, by a, I'll call it a slim margin. Maybe there's a little hostility from the last race because I won and he came in second but he ended up being a lot closer to me than I think he thought he was going to get. It's like a wheel to wheel with Charlie. <laughs>had a great race. We went one, two. Charlie was able to win the race. Uh, I was able to get second. And near the end of the race, I was making a big move into turn one and he slammed the door on me. So I don't know. I, I think payback's going to be this weekend. Racers love to talk about racing. They love to talk about their cars. They love to show you what they've done. We have a data acquisition system in the car. Right? We have uh, uh, an AEM CDL, CDL7. It's a data logger and a dash. Um, and it records probably you know, 70, 75 different channels of data. So this is telling what the car is doing. We can see um, how we compare as drivers who gets what corner better, who's working the brakes better. Um, that answer is always Gary, but nevertheless, I can see how close we're getting. We can look at a theoretical best to see how close to your limit you're driving. Um, we can look for throttle application, how much you're steering, am I coming off the brake properly, uh, what our speeds are to see how you're cornering. All right, so here we are in- which, which is new and which is old? Uh, Orange is yesterday. Okay. So that's what we're calling our baseline. Mm -hmm. um, blue is the new stuff. And right now, this is just comparing you against you. Good. So I want to okay. see if you're making some of the changes that we talked about yesterday. Even though you don't have the confidence, the car really isn't doing anything because you don't have enough lat G. Got right? it. So that's all in your head. Keep the throttle down through there. I want you to focus on extending that throttle into that. You can, you can brake right after that if you feel comfortable, but that braking zone as you head towards that outside wall is relatively straight. You're not doing a whole lot of turning at that point, right? So you're going to have time to get the car slowed down. I actually brake the car in the corner at, at the wall. You're gonna be able to focus on warming the tires, right? And you really have to abuse the tire initially to get the tire temp in, you know, tire temp in. Um, so I, I'm, I'm sure you're probably, you know, a bit, you've got some mechanical empathy for the car, throw that out the window. <laughs>
if the driver just gets in and doesn't have a relationship and a communication with his mechanic, you know, that's that's a really that's broken to be honest with you, you know, digitorque the wheels. It's a trust between the driver and and the person the mechanic working on their car. There has to be trust because they're going out and they're hitting speeds in a car that that are frightening to be honest to most people. So, they needed to to depend on their equipment, and they need to depend on, on their staff. Uh, so I'm one of the mechanics for Team Go Go Gear. Uh, I currently help out with any one of the cars they have. Uh, currently today I'm on the Honda uh, S2000. Normally I work on a Civic uh, or a BMW, but basically my job is to keep them running if anything breaks, uh, you know, make sure they're ready to go before the next qualifying session, uh, as well as the race, and keep them going throughout the day. Mechanics that are here, maybe it's their day job, maybe it's not their day job, but they have a passion for cars and the kind of cars that we race. Uh, even the drivers are great mechanics, so um, you know some of them work and maintain their own cars. I'm here just to help out and assist where I can, but um, I definitely would like to think I'm crucial. <laughs>
I have a very big interest in the engineering side of things. So the setup of the car, how the car drives, all the very technical aspects of it that really keep me uh, mentally very engaged with the car, the sport, the driving, the how the circuit is, all those different factors all add up to just kind of my curiosity of, of how to get, uh, you know, the basic thing is how do you get a car around a certain distance in the least amount of time, right? It's kind of a childhood dream, you know, I was an aeronautical engineering major in college and now I find myself, most of my career I've been sitting in front of a desk and so to have an opportunity to um, not only uh, drive but tinker and, and watch the, the, to reap the rewards of the work, to watch yourself get better, all the while uh, being part of this team, it's, uh, it's been an amazing experience, I, I love to do it. I don't think any racing driver will necessarily tell you that they have a fear. That's kind of one of the first things you kind of have to get over. Sometimes you definitely can scare yourself out there, but uh, what's nice about the series and of course the team is when we're racing with, uh, with the series, everybody knows each other. So not just on the team, but the whole series is very like a family, right? So you know everybody. So you know that's John or that's Bill, whatever it may be. You can trust them. You know the driver. It's not just somebody in a car. It's somebody you know, somebody you talk to, somebody you respect. and so. Um, when we're out there with other groups, you don't have that same feeling of, I know this person, I know what they're going to do. So uh, when we're driving with other people, you just have to feel everybody out, see how everybody's behaving. You don't know how everyone's going to go out there. And for us, uh, they were very aggressive and, and being out there. So we were just trying to take it easy, figure the car out. You know, um, I think for a lot of people here, uh, whether they're uh, moving up in the sport or winding down from the sport, um, the United States Touring Car Championship and the GoGo -Go Gear Racing Team um, is just an unbelievable place to be. Uh, it's a, it's a you know, place to build your confidence. It's a place to be a pro racer. It's a place to you know, be broadcast on TV. It's, uh, it's so many different things. And um, for many people, it's kind of a childhood dream come true. So just, just completely privileged to, to be a part of the team and have the friends that we have and, and be able to spend this time together, really. And have my entire family, my husband, my kids. And, and we're just, it's just a great thing. Like this show? Want more? Then head to WatchPTTV.com, the new 100% free PowerTube TV streaming network. Home of the best classic and new motorsports racing and build shows on the web.